is what's up just checking in this morning we're about to start our first two i core presentations um we're up first in the first uh first batch of companies presenting which is good nice and easy get it out the way um but anyway should have some good learning coming out of this excited to get started we'll see how it goes <laughs> operations managers to evaluate their employees better, but also monitor their uh, progress and their development. We asked them how they felt about the process itself of performance evaluation and specifically what their main frustrations were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, not, not to go too deep into the product, but um, we're certainly trying to have a, a huge um, effect on not only the relationship between employees and the managers, but uh, the employees themselves and if they can coach themselves up and keep themselves motivated. So um, absolutely, Regina, and we'll, we'll definitely continue to look into that. So we just finished the final i presentation. Went really well. Um, got some good compliments on how far we, we had gotten in the program. I was also very excited to see how far along everyone else um, had gotten with, with their own companies and their own interviews. Really excited to be done <laughs> with that portion of the FAU Tech Runway. We, uh, we're spending a lot of time conducting these customer interviews and while it was certainly helpful, uh, it was just, just a lot of time that uh, we're, we now get back and we can spend on other portions of our business. So we're working towards that. As I mentioned, the new website is getting up and running slowly but surely, working on finalizing some pages today. Mihai and I had just had a discussion to, to talk about the priority of those pages and getting things done. Uh, so that's good, that's good. We're moving, moving forward. Uh, later today, we have the final uh, mentor one-on-one -on -one meeting with um, our fifth FAU Tech Runway mentor. So hopefully, hopefully that'll be good discussion and she'll have some really good insights for us. Uh, after that, I actually, right after that, I have a 1909 accountability group meeting where basically we have a, a mini group within the 1909 accelerator where we just chat on a weekly basis to make sure everyone's uh, keeping up with the assignments and, and if they need any help, we, we help each other out. So uh, it's a nice little group, group convo just to see how everyone's progressing and riff off each other as well. So good day so far today. A little tired, long, long i meeting. We have another one tomorrow actually um, where the second half of the companies present their findings. So we'll learn from them as well. Yeah, really, really just excited to start this next phase of, of our accelerator life cycle, our company life cycle, um, and getting things up and running. Um, let me put this down quickly. So there was some like crazy serendipity involved um, between my vlog from yesterday and this morning when I was driving. Um, I was listening to Malcolm Gladwell's Revisionist History podcast and this latest episode is all about hiring people and he just so happened to start talking about this principle known as Peter's Principle that applies directly to what I was talking about yesterday about how managers don't always make good managers because they're not necessarily good leaders. And this, I was like dumbfounded when I was driving. This principle basically states that people in organizations will only rise to their level of incompetence. So if you're good at your job, you get promoted to another position until the point at which you are no longer competent to achieve the next level. So if you're good at your position, you get promoted to the next one up, which could be a manager. If you're good at that, you'll get promoted up to the next level. But at some point, you're not competent enough to, um, to take care of the responsibilities of that position or the next position. So you always just kind of keep moving up until at which point you're no, you're no longer competent to, to take that next step. And what that ultimately means is that all levels of the organization above the base level, in theory, are filled with incompetent people <laughs> or people who, who are just competent enough to have that position. So 
it's a really interesting thought. I guess in some cases it could be true. Um, hopefully more often than not, it's not true, but you can definitely see how it makes sense that that people just keep moving until the organization recognizes that they're no longer fit for that next move up. So I just thought it was funny. It, it, it had everything to do with what I was talking about yesterday. Um, and really the reason why I was bringing all this up was because our platform gets feedback to be renamed, um, helps people become more competent at their managerial tasks and helps employees to develop themselves so that they are competent to move on to the next step. So our tool is basically a way of offsetting Peter's principle if, if it actually um, is in place within an organization. So just a cool thing to think about. Um, anyway, uh, excited to move on to Friday, tomorrow, another i meeting and hopefully finishing up everything we need for the website so that we're up and running. Anyway, have a good Thursday. Catch up with you guys soon.